Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna do something I've never done before, but I've always wanted to do. We're gonna be grilling a brisket. You heard that right, a grilled brisket. Stay tuned. Alright, here's my brisket. We're starting with an eight pound brisket. So we're not starting with a very large brisket because I believe a large brisket grilled would just take a very long time. So I've got this eight pound brisket and I am going to be trimming some of the fat. Alright, just pat it dry. And this is a USDA prime brisket. So you want to get at least a prime, especially if you're going to be grilling a brisket because number one, you don't want this thing to dry out. Grilling a brisket or grills run pretty hot. I mean, you can control the heat to a point, but it is gonna run pretty hot, so I don't wanna dry it out. So that's why I chose to go with a prime brisket. As far as the trim on the meat side, I'm just gonna remove the deckle. I'm using my Dow Strong fillet knife. This is a flexible knife, and I believe this is a six and a half, maybe even seven inch fillet knife, which works great for trimming briskets. Just remove most of this deckle. I'm also gonna remove this heavy fat pocket right here, along with the silver skin that's under it. Just have to try to stay right between the meat and the fat. It's okay if you leave a little bit on there, it's not gonna hurt anything. Remove a little bit more of this fat. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on this meat side. Fat cap wise, you know what? This mohawk is pretty trimmed already, but I do wanna remove some of this fat. Remove any sharp edges or corners. I'm not gonna mess with this fat cap too much because there's not a whole lot to begin with. I'm gonna leave all this fat on top of it, but I do wanna remove this thin edge right here. Round off this corner. We're gonna start seasoning this brisket with some kosher salt, followed by some black pepper. And yeah, we did not use any binder. Add quite a bit of black pepper. Followed by some granulated garlic. SPG, that's all we're gonna be using. Now go around the brisket and get your edges. All right, let's head outside and fire up my chud box. I'm gonna be using a brand new coconut shell charcoal. You heard that right. Stay tuned. All right, let's light up my chud box. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be using this brand new Blazing Cocoa 100% coconut shell charcoal. So I've been using this charcoal for a couple of weeks now and I'm extremely pleased with this. This is a very dense piece of charcoal and it does burn hotter and last longer than any other charcoal I've ever used. So one of the nice things about Blazing Cocoa is that they are not chopping down coconut trees to make this charcoal. They are only using the shell itself. So two more important factors about Blazing Cocoa is that there are no chemicals or fillers inside of this charcoal, which means you're gonna get nice, clean, burning fuel. Now, since this is a very dense piece of wood, you wanna make sure you're using a torch or a chimney to ignite the charcoal. Make sure you guys check out the links below and grab yourself a few boxes of this amazing Blazing Cocoa coconut shell charcoal. All right, so I'm starting with 24 char logs. I've got two rows on the very bottom. Then I built a small pyramid right smack in the middle. I'm gonna be using my grill gun from Grill Blazer to light these char logs, so here we go. All right, and just like that, we are lit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these char logs are very dense, so make sure you keep your torch on these, and you want them to start to ash over, just as you see right there. So I'm gonna let these warm up for a little bit, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so my pit is warming up. I'm gonna to try to run it at 250 degrees. Now, if you notice, the right side door is on the second notch and the left side exhaust is about halfway open. Let's load up this brisket. Check out how clean this charcoal is burning. There is literally zero smoke and that's what you want when you're direct cooking like this. All right, so I'm gonna place this brisket fat cap down right smack in the middle. 
Got a little sizzle. Now I've never done this before, so I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and flip this brisket. Stay tuned. All right, so 30 minutes have passed. Let's take a look at our brisket. And by the way, the temperature did creep up to 275 degrees, which is a little hot. So what I did is I closed the exhaust down and I put the right side door on the very first notch just to restrict the air a little bit. But let's take a look at our brisket. All right, so it is smelling really good out here. Let's go ahead and flip it. So now we got the meat side down. I gotta tell you, so far so good, man. That's cooking really fast. I don't think this is gonna take very long. Remember, we started with an eight pound brisket. Once I trimmed it, we were probably seven pounds. So this is not gonna take very long. So I'm gonna let this cook for 30 minutes with the meat side down. I'm gonna try to bring that temperature down to 250 degrees and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so another 30 minutes have passed. Total cook time, one hour. Let's go ahead and flip our brisket again. I gotta tell you, that brisket's looking really nice. I'm glad I put that extra rub because again, we're flipping it, so some of that's gonna fall off. But this is looking really good, it's not burning. Not sure if you guys can make out the char logs, but all of them still have the exact same shape as when we started, so that's looking really good. Again, it's burning really nice and hot. We're still running at 275, doesn't look like it's affecting the brisket much. So what I'm gonna do at this point is every 30 minutes or so, I'm just gonna come out here and flip it. I'll bring you guys back in a couple of hours. Stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time has been four hours. Again, every 30 minutes, I came out here and flipped it over. So let's take a look and get an internal temperature. All right, I'm gonna flip our brisket one more time. This is the fat cap here. And that fat cap is almost rendered 100%. Let's get an internal temperature right here. And we're already sitting at 195. 202 on the flat. But I can tell you it's still a little bit tough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this inside, wrap it up in foil, stay tuned. All right, so here's our brisket, and I gotta tell you, that fat cap rendered down to almost nothing, and that bark is a little crunchy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of beef tallow into this foil wrap. Try to soften that bark up just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna place the brisket back inside the chud box until this brisket is really nice and tender. I'll let you guys know exactly how long that takes. Stay tuned. All right, the brisket is ready and the total cook time was only five hours and 15 minutes. Now it has been resting for about an hour and a half right here on my counter, just wrapped inside the foil. So let's take a look at it and see how we did. Well, actually it's pretty tender. Put this on this tray. I'm gonna pour that tallow over the brisket. Oh yeah. Man, the color of this brisket and the aroma that's coming off of it is absolutely amazing. One thing I did wanna say is that blazing cocoa charcoal, it was still on after the five hours and 15 minutes. In fact, it only burned down about halfway. So my guess is that that charcoal will run for 10 hours, just what I added on the initial startup, okay? So try out that charcoal for yourself. So let's slice into this bad boy and see what we got. Oh man. Now one thing is that we're probably not gonna have a smoke ring, okay? Which I'm okay. Smoke ring is not an indication of flavor. But we do have a little smoke ring. A little juicy. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm gonna take some slices off of this point. Still really hot. Man, check this bad boy out. Check out that point. That is money. Man, this is really hot still. Again, it's been resting for an hour and a half. But look at that. Nice and juicy. Now this end of the flat might be a little bit dry. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this piece right here, which is usually the driest part of the brisket, this piece right here 
is my absolute favorite. In fact, when customers come to my food truck, I give them these pieces right here as samples. These are my absolute favorite pieces of brisket. Okay, so kind of like little burnt ends, if you will, but check that out. Really nice and juicy as well. Oh my goodness. I think we might be onto something. So I'm gonna get some slices off of the flat here. Again, this is not a smoked brisket. This is a grilled brisket. I do wanna remind you that this only took five hours and 15 minutes. So hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. Cause we might be onto something here. All right, check out this flat. Really, really moist. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am really liking this guys. All right guys, check out this beautiful brisket. Minus the smoke ring, it looks just like a normal brisket, but again, it's really nice and juicy. The aroma that's coming from it is second to none. Let's give this a try. All right, let's give these little burnt ends a try. Well, not really burnt ends, but my burnt ends. Look at that. Nice and juicy, nice bark. There we go. Guys, this flavor is absolutely amazing. Really good beefy flavor. Nice and smoky from that charcoal. I am loving this brisket. Mm. Look at this flat. Nice and juicy. Oh my goodness. Pulls apart super easy. Look at that. Mm. Man, this is absolutely delicious. Let's try some of this point. Again, nice and juicy, nice and tender, nice seasoning. I mean, what more do you want? Here we go. Mm. Now, to be honest with you guys, I did not think this brisket was gonna come out this good. Now, it did take quite a bit of work because you have to go out there every 30 minutes and flip that brisket. But aside from that, the flavor is absolutely amazing. If you guys have a direct cooker, this is the way to cook a brisket if you've never done it before. I also wanna mention that the flavor from that blazing cocoa charcoal is absolutely delicious. It's unlike anything I've ever had before. It's something different, but it is absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this savage grilled brisket video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Oh yeah.